Good day! So today I will show you how to make your own rose petal glyceride. So place the rose petals into the bowl with full of water, just to let it to kind of wash it off a bit, yeah, the dust and everything. Then place the rose petals onto the towel, paper towel to let it dry and then place the rose petals in an airtight container, a little glass jar. And then add two thirds of vegetable glycerin to it and one part of distilled water. Close it properly, uh, close it properly, writing down the date and leave it for two to three weeks. Well guys, welcome back. It's been about six weeks or so from my glycerin, which I made rose petal glycerin. It's right, <laughs> it's here. So the date, I'm just taking it out, yeah. So what we're gonna need now, we're gonna need uh, some empty uh, glass container, yes, to transfer glycerin, but before, we're gonna need a little glass jar here. It's a bit sunny here, so today. A little glass, uh, la uh, glass jar here and a cheesecloth, just to separate the rose petals from actual glyceride, okay? So I'm just gonna open it and transfer it okay this has got a bit messy that is fine Okay, yeah. So we're just trying to get as much as glycerite as possible from the leaves. Yeah. And the other ones. So separating actually the glycerite from the rose petals. Okay, that's fine, we're just moving this aside. And yeah, taking it out. And transfer it into my jar now. In here. Perfect. So this is guy, my is rose petal pizza, right? So there is a lot of uses where you can use um, glyceride and there is a lot of things where you can um, you can do it from your fresh flower petals, uh, fresh flower leaves or herbals, dry, dry herbs, dry flowers. As well, you can do it from the fresh or dried uh, fruits too. So just try to experiment with it. I'm gonna leave in the description box below a few articles to read about the glycerins and the uses. You can use it in your body lotions, in the soap making, face, uh, face washes, like literally everywhere. I like to use in my face washes and shower gels as well. So think about it where you can use it and I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you soon. Bye.